There we go. One, go. Falling there into pin, and then Zerzu falls out of it. Uh, pin does some weird stuff with that sometimes. Yes, it does. But falling there to pin is actually very is a true combo. And one of Coin's go-to ways to start off a match. That was awesome. Very, very good counter right there. Knowing zero suits are often going to be aggressive coming up from ledge. Up air, very safe. Uh, applies a lot of pressure and can combo into quite a lot, including kills from very early percent. So maybe not quite yet against someone as heavy as Corrin, but definitely soon. We got up airs. Yep. Not going to get them all, though. Kofi looking for an early stock with the up air to up B. Just getting the grab right there. Uh, Corrin's grab game, not not the best in, in the sense that it doesn't, she doesn't really have any combos or get a whole lot of percent out of it, but if Corrin can put you in a disadvantage and just get 10% in the process, it can end up being very good for her just because her juggling game is so good. Uh, of course, that does get a bit invalidated by Zero Suit being able to flip jump out or various other options, but yeah. still important for Corrin to get all those grabs. If anything, if nothing else, just to make sure you're not shielding all the time so she can back air or pin you like that. Now Kofi with some stage control, looking for something to start up. Kofi gonna let trap, and that's a flip kick, gonna take it right back. <laughs> yeah. So that uh, that down B is very scary. It'll kill you quite early. Now Kofi trying to get something started to maybe even up the game. Falling near combo. Ooh, I like that the pin off stage. Frozen taking some momentum here, and that's gonna be enough. Yep. So very quick second stock. After that flip kick started to bring it back, Frozen able to take that second stock easily with Corrin's very strong moves right there. Just got a couple of quick combos. Just put Kofi in disadvantage and never yeah. ever let him out. Which is impressive. Zero Suit's disadvantage state is not that bad. Yeah, but, uh, flip kick. But Frozen able to just catch all of his options as quickly as possible there. Frozen just hanging out, waiting. He's, he seems to be in a pretty good mood today. Yeah, pretty jolly overall. Maybe just saying hi to Ricky G over there. <laughs> Our best friend, the giant pig monkey. Yep. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, he, uh, he's switching up his tag. Uh, I got to the Micaiah tag today. Uh, he's he's been having he's had his tag as various um, various Fire Emblem characters, usually on tees uh, from Fire Emblem Echoes, but or whatever the album was, I don't know. But he's going with Makaya. We get the game and watch. The game and watch right. is out. I don't think this is a wonderful matchup, but <laughs> not in the not in the traditional sense. But you know, we'll see. It looked really good against uh, SNS Pikachu earlier today. Uh, however, he does know this matchup very well. Frozen does uh, plays with SPT a lot. Uh, the Fox Game and Watch, also from Staten Island. Could see him in the background there a minute ago. So Frozen certainly knows what to do against this character. Uh, but starting off pretty solid here is Kofi. Kofi might be a different animal then. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely a very different style from SPT. Tutu gonna send him really high. It is hard to land against Game & Watch. Not necessarily because he can cover you that well, because he can windbox you over and over. Yeah. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's a wild ride sometimes. And the windbox on that move is so big. It is. Up air and down tilt both have giant windboxes. So does up B, actually. But up B, not really only as relevant. The, only at the base, I think. It's still really big, it's just that you also get hit by the hitbox most of the time, so you don't really notice it as much. Double jab one right there. So Game & Watch's jab one is really good. Uh, after that, jab is a bit questionable. But jab one doesn't true combo in or anything, but it can set up into a grab. It can set up into like a spot dodge read for an F smash or a down smash. Uh, that down arm was killed right there. And it's super fast. Yeah, Same. jab one, I believe it's frame four or frame three. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but it's, it's a very, very quick move. Uh, up smash. Game & Watch's yeah. up smash is a special beast. Uh, it is it is frame 25, which is very slow. It's actually, oh wow, pins him, take it. Uh, Game of Watch up smash, frame 25, slower than Bowser's F smash. However, the invincibility comes out frame 3, and it'll tank any one hit in the game. So. And it has no end lag. No end lag, it's completely safe on shields. Uh, even if you power shield, most characters can't do much except maybe jab if they have a quick jab. And, and you can cover push. it with down tilt or F tilt or something like that. Oh, he was at percent, I think, for the down throw up here to kill. Uh, Corrin dies fairly at a fairly standard percent to that, like up to 121 or so. He's over 100, so he would have died to that. Not going off stage for these edge guards. Oh, the down tilt will take it. 
Uh, down tilt, really great angle for killing. Sends you directly sideways. Yeah, it sends at a really good angle. It sets up the edge guard, and it, like there, it kills. Yep. And it's very quick. It's usually one of the things you'll see people use to cover up smash. They'll up smash someone's shield. Someone will try to punish out of shield, and you down tilt. And as soon as and as soon as they try to punish, they're just going to get hit by the down tilt and sent in that weird horizontal angle. Pin to kick, not going to be enough yet. But I can't imagine you can survive long enough because Game Watch is so light. Game Watch is very light. The third lightest character in the game. I like that up smash though. It's pretty good. Quite combo. a bit of damage. Uh, up smash, not only a really good anti air and a kill move, it's also an anti air and just a combo starter at low percents. You can get up airs or neutral airs out of it, and Game and Watch's damage rack up off of those are pretty big. Neutral air does 17% if you get all the hits. So if we're gonna go with the ledge. So Game and Watch's recovery can be very hard to mess with. It has a bit of invincibility on it. Down air? Going all going deep. Pretty far away, going for the back air now. This is a good sequence here for Kofi. He's going in for this edge guard. Good back air again. Can he reach the platform? Not quite. Smash roll platform coming into play. Oh, he misses the down air right there, and Frozen will be able to get back on stage. But that was a very good sequence from Kofi, able to rack up a lot of percent. But back air beats out the up smash invincibility right there. And that'll be a 2 over Frozen, but game 2 very, very yeah. close there. Switch to game, which is actually really warranted, despite it not being the best matchup. Definitely. It looked, looked very comfortable there, compared to how he did game 1. Uh, and the edge guarding was, was very good at the end there, just not able to convert it into a kill. And that was the difference. He was unable to get that last hit for a kill. And you, you can just infinitely lock Corrin out with that and wall her out with those back airs. It will beat out her recovery, but Corrin does have a lot of different directions she can go. So it makes it difficult to get it consistently every time. Yeah, and it has a gigantic hitbox. So yes. that helps a lot in recovering and Corrin's covering other options. Corrin's huge. Uh, it doesn't have a hitbox right above her head, but it does like out to the side okay. on the wings, and it's way above her. All the way So over if here. you can... Uh, Isaiah made a video about this a while ago. You can trade with the, with her head pretty easily with a lot of moves. But Game Watch doesn't really have a multi-hit that does that. I don't think Nair is big enough. Um, back air it will actually happen sometimes, but it's hard to control when you actually get the trade or when you just beat it out. Because uh, Game Watch's back air is fairly disjointed, yep. so you don't usually get that as often. Uh, but if you can just beat it out repeatedly and just keep getting those back airs, it'll work out pretty well. And if that would trade, I think that would... If it Unless trades, Corrin dies. Unless again, the last day, it's like a, fo a fox forward or something. Yeah. 